Alrighty, so here's the setup for day one. We got some whole grain toast, two slices of that with cottage cheese spread and chives. Then we got two egg omelet things and then some avocado. Here we got strawberry and banana Greek yogurt with blueberries, chia seeds, and strawberries. And then I also have some water here too. So now it is time for the workout. Honestly, that breakfast was super filling. I don't eat a lot and it's been like an hour since I ate that breakfast and I'm still really full. So we'll see how this run goes. But what I'm gonna do for a warm up is just a mile jog. I haven't seriously ran in so long. And even then I was just so bad at it. So we'll see how today goes. My goal for 2021 is to be like really good at running. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna record my time. It's probably gonna be like 12 minutes, but whatever. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Bye. Okay, I finished my mile. And surprisingly, it was actually a pretty good time. Oh my gosh, okay. I can slow down now. <laughs> Here's a screenshot of my run time. I got an 849 for one mile and I was expecting a lot worse, especially just because I had COVID and I haven't ran in so long. And even when I was doing boxing, I had like a 10 minute mile time. So the fact that I had an 849, I was pretty proud of. Um, but the first exercise at the gym is the incline dumbbell press and I'm doing three sets of 12. <laughs> The next exercise on the list was a dumbbell fly, and this was three sets of 12. All right, so here's some footage of just about the ugliest push-ups I've ever seen in my entire life. When I was on the boxing team and we had to do the army physical fitness test, I got 69 push-ups in two minutes and they were actually good push-ups. So I lost so much strength since then, so I'm really trying to get it back. But anyway, what I'm doing now is push-ups going by 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and ending at 1. Here I'm doing dumbbell kickbacks and I'm doing three sets of 15 reps each and I've never done this exercise before. I don't think I like it too much, but it's interesting. Now we're moving on to the triceps push down and I have done this exercise before. What I'm doing is two sets of 20, and this is not how I usually do my sets. So it was definitely an interesting experience to try and fit 20 reps per set because my arms were just flipping so exhausted in the middle of the set. Here I am doing some bench dips, and like the push-ups, it goes from a set of 10 to a set of nine, all the way down to a set of one. Right now I'm doing the optional post lift boxing hit circuit workout. So the first exercise is shadow boxing for one minute with four pound dumbbells. Next I'm moving on to jumping jacks for 30 seconds. After shadow boxing for another minute, then I moved on to mountain climbers for 30 seconds. After another minute of shadow boxing, I moved on to 30 seconds of burpees, and here's me failing to do a burpee with a push up because my arms were that tired, so I just did regular burpees. After another minute of shadow boxing, then I went on to shoulder taps for 30 seconds. I also decided to add an additional five minutes of freestyle jump rope. That was the end of day one of doing Michael B. Jordan's workout. Like I mentioned previously, I'm not a runner, and I ran that flipping mile in 839, which I know doesn't sound good, but I flipping ran the my mile back in boxing tryouts at like a 10 minute pace. So somehow, even though I was in better shape then, I dropped like a minute and a half, two minutes, which is pretty awesome considering I literally had COVID and couldn't breathe the other day when I was trying to do hill sprints. So I think I'm at a place right now where I'm motivated. It was so nice outside. I enjoyed that run a lot. So I'm really excited to keep running for the rest of the week. Um, so the run was really good. 
Um, I think like I felt good, my breathing was fine. It's just like I was just running, you know, not super fast because I'm not that fast yet. But I, everything felt good. My legs felt good, my breathing. So I'm really excited to keep running. I ended the workout with a post lifting hit circuit kind of deal. Um, and that was fine. My arms were flipping shattered though. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do these burpees. I go down for a push up and I'm not even able to lift myself up. So this is definitely a really, really intense um, but great arm workout. So I'm really happy for that. I didn't say this in the article, but I added like five minutes of jump rope at the end of the workout. And honestly, jump roping is a great form of cardio that's, you know, gets you tired pretty quickly. Now I'm going to make myself a protein shake, drink that, and then eat um, whatever else is left on the meal plan. The plan included like five or six meals, and I don't even eat a lot, so I have no idea how I'm going to do that. But I think what it is is that they're trying to get you to eat like throughout the day. Alrighty, here is the protein shake. We got protein powder, bananas, oats, soy milk, almonds, blueberries, and yeah, that's it. I just tasted this protein shake and it was really good, but now in addition to that, I have to find 35 grams of protein. And I'm not super hungry, so I don't really know what to eat, but I'm sure I'll figure out something, I guess. So I eventually decided on dirty rice, and it's basically rice mixed with some vegetables, seasoning, and ground turkey. Alrighty guys, it is day two of the workout. I had a pretty late start this morning, and it looks like it's about to rain, so maybe that's motivation for me to run faster. Yesterday's mile time was 8.39, so I'm gonna go try and beat that. I don't know how successful that will be, but we're gonna try. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go to the gym, and I will catch you guys after my run. Hey guys, just got done with my run. Instead of 8.49, I got 8.41. So I did drop in time, but only by a couple seconds. I feel like I definitely could have pushed myself at that last end. However, I was feeling a lot more tired than yesterday's run. It was a mistake to wear a sweatshirt. Running a mile as a warm up before each weightlifting session has honestly made such a difference, even though it's only been like two days. So I think after this challenge is over, I'm definitely gonna incorporate it into my daily workout routine and see what happens from there. Anyway, the run is over. So now I'm gonna head over to the gym for my weightlifting session. So now I'm starting off with a one arm dumbbell row and I'm doing three sets of 12. Next, I'm moving on to pull downs and I'm doing three sets of 12. Also shout out to my homie Javi in the back. See, we're both putting in that work. Next, I'm moving on to dumbbell curls, and I'm doing three sets of 12 for each arm. I waited for the night to fall in love. It's how you really know I fucked it up. It's just a little lie. Next, I'm moving on to a bent over row. I've never done these before, so, I mean, clearly, you can probably tell, but I'm doing three sets of 12 reps each. Next, I moved on to barbell curls and I had to bring it back down to fives on each side because I just couldn't flipping lift the 10 this day. Um, but I did three sets of 12 reps each. The last exercise were hammer curls and I did three sets, 12 reps each. Hey guys, so I just finished day two's workout. I want to go inside now because it's raining, um, but yeah. So glad day two is done it was kind of miserable <laughs> but i'm so happy to be working out again and i'm excited for day three peace out
here's my arm muscles. They're, they're not as big as they used to be and I'm pretty upset about it. Now that the workout is over, I'm going to make myself a protein shake. I just use organic plant-based protein, but um, if you guys have any recommendations for protein powder, let me know. This is just the first one that I tried and I'm almost out of it. I haven't even been using it for that long and I'm almost out of it. So and it was expensive too. Okay, wait a minute. If this is my before, this is so clickbait. My stomach's not actually like this. I mean, it is, but <laughs> look at this angle. Like, it looks like I have some type of six pack or something. I really don't, like, yikes. But, um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, it is day three of the workout. I was really not feeling the run today. Um, it's super cold and clearly still about to rain. Um, and it's definitely later in the day than I would have liked to start this workout, but it's okay, at least I'm getting it done. Um, my flipping biceps, like my arms hurt so bad, especially because I had to walk Bailey from down there over here with her in my arms. So I had to carry 39 pounds in my arms. Um, so that was, that was intense. Um, but yeah, my arms are done for, but luckily today's leg day. Um, I'm gonna do the run. Like I said, I'm not feeling too well, so we'll see what I end up getting for time. Um, but yeah, I need to go get this workout in pronto because I gotta go to work soon. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. That was so crazy. Uh, during the beginning of the run, it started to get super windy and started drizzling, which was actually super nice. It was still a little too warm to be wearing a jacket, which I'll remember for next time. But the rain on my face just felt so good and the breeze was so nice. And going like the, the half mile one way, <laughs> the wind was like pushing me that way. So I definitely ran that super fast. When I was running like up to the um, half mile time, my speed per, per mile was like 5.30 or something like that. I was like, geez. And then near the second half is when I started to slow down. But I somehow um, decreased my mile time again by 46 seconds this time, which is insane. Because yesterday, I, well, I only increased, decreased it by a couple seconds, but today, 46 seconds. I went from 8.39, I think, to flipping 7.53, which is so cool because that was only a one-day difference and I already dropped that amount of time. I have no idea why I ran faster today considering I felt really bleh and not so good in comparison to the other days, but I'm so happy with how this, like, running just I've only been running for what, three days now consistently? And I'm already seeing improvements, which is so awesome. So I'm really glad that, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving up on this routine. I like, I'm keeping my word to it. So like, I don't feel like extremely exhausted right now. Not to say that I could go run that again, but I feel good. So I'm really happy. Next, we're moving on to one of my least favorite exercises to ever exist on the face of the earth. These are dumbbell lunges, and I'm doing three sets, 30 seconds per leg. Next, I moved on to single leg hip extensions, and I'm doing three sets of 15 per leg. Next, I'm doing leg curls, and I'm doing three sets of 12. Next, I'm doing RDLs. Well, I'm attempting to, anyway. Um, I'm doing three sets of 12 reps each. Next, I'm doing squats, and I'm doing the sets where I go from 10, and the next set's 9, and then I go all the way down to a last set of one rep. Next, I'm moving on to the ab exercises, and I didn't have a Swiss ball with me, so I just used a dumbbell, and I'm doing crunches, three sets for 25 reps. Next, I'm doing leg raises, three sets of 25 reps. Next, I'm doing reverse crunches and I'm doing three sets of 25 reps. Next, I'm doing toe touches and I didn't have a ball so I used a dumbbell again. I'm doing three sets of 25 reps. Next are sprinter sit-ups, and I doubt I'm doing these right, but I did three sets of 25. 
Alrighty, I just got back from the gym. It was the end of day three workout. The workout was pretty good. It was legs. Um, my 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 calves, my calves were on fire. Um, but other than that, it was pretty good. The ab exercises were actually like they weren't. The exercises themselves weren't difficult. But what was difficult was the fact that they were all like three sets of 25, which is a lot if there's multiple ab exercises. So that actually took me a really long time to finish. Hey guys, I'm at the gym right now. It is just way too cold and yucky outside to be running, which, you know, I probably should run in because it's similar to my boxing tryout conditions, but I've decided to just run on the treadmill today. I don't know how well it's gonna go because we have to wear our masks on still. Um, and also I just don't like running on a treadmill in general. Um, We'll see. Today is the last day of the workout, so I'm pretty flipping excited. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hey guys, it's Jess. I just finished my mile on the treadmill. I got 7.49, which is just a couple seconds shorter from yesterday's mile time. I feel like I definitely could have run faster, and it was a lot easier to be on a, a straight treadmill, I think, just because it was flat ground and in the forest there's a lot of hills. Um, but it was also harder because sometimes when I wanted to go faster, I'd have to like keep, keep clicking the thing. And if I wanted to keep, go slower, I had to keep, keep clicking the thing. Um, so that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I mean, it was fine. I'm really excited to see where I'll be in a month from now. First, I started off with bench press and I did five total sets. I originally started with 10 reps and then I went all the way down to six reps. Next, I moved on to push-ups, and I normally do a wider stance, but I decided to try the closer stance today. I was on my knees, um, and I did five sets of 15 reps. Honestly, this was a horrible experience. I have just realized I've done wide stance push-ups my whole life, so now my goal is to try and get this closer grip and see um, how I can improve in the next couple months. Next, I'm moving on to dumbbell flies, and honestly, this exercise feels really uncomfortable, so I don't know if I'm doing it right, but anyway, um, I did five sets, and then I went from 10 all the way back down to six. Next, I did dumbbell curls, and I did four sets of 12 reps. Next, I'm moving on to dumbbell kickbacks, and I did four sets of 15 reps. Then I went on to bench dips, and I did four sets of 20 reps. Here I am stumbling over to the mat, and this is where I finished the rest of my ab exercises. It was the same as yesterday's, where I did a crunch with a plate, and then I did leg raises, and then I did reverse crunches, toe touches, and then ended with the sprinter setups. Just a little lie, it's all it was, it's all it was